Greetings folks, in this box we have the C1 Chaser Wing. This wing has been around for quite a few years. Uh, it is almost identical to the Wing Wing Z84 and the FX61, sort of the in-between size between these two brilliant uh, wings. Not made by the same company, I believe, but uh, heavily borrows from the design. There's the instruction manual, some Chinese, some English, uh, but should be simple enough to work out. For once the foam has arrived totally undamaged, uh, there's a little bit of a crush on the box but hasn't affected anything at all, which is a miracle. Here's the center pod here. Quite a bit of space in there. I'm sure we'll be able to fit a flight control board in, nice big battery, uh, or I think what I'm going to do is try and build it as light as possible to start off with. Uh, I'll use the smallest motor that I can get away with and try and get away with not having to add too much lead, extra lead, uh, because Sir Matt of Bristol has done a review and in his he, he was using a 2200 3S and had, a, had to add a whole stack of extra lead. Um, so my plan is to keep it as light as possible basically. Motor mount, it's absolutely identical design to those other wings. Have to glue it all together. We have a spar slot going through there. There's the, there's the spar. Wings in bubble wrap. A couple of you know, alternative nose mounts. One for an FPV camera, if you want to put an FPV camera in the nose, which I never do, or a, a one without a hole. Finlets. I'm going to hang on to this bubble wrap because my plan is to use bubble wrap as a covering for another plane at some, st some stage. And we've got uh, some plywood pieces, Velcro, push rods, and clips for the canopy. Oh, wingspan is 1200 millimeters. Wing area, 26 decimeters squared. Recommended motor is 2212, 2200 kV, 830 uh, amp ESC. Recommended battery is 3S3300, which would probably balance it okay. Now we get all these groovy stickers, which uh, it's up to you whether you put them on or not. I won't be putting them on because I always like to uh, individualize my planes. So really dense, nice smooth foam. Uh, and bottom mounted servos, but the arms come up from the top, which is very nice. It means they won't get uh, damaged down below. That's a nice touch and it sort of keeps it reasonably well uh, airfoiled as well. A bit of reflex in the airfoil, which is also good for wings. Now, my thinking is that this will be just, oh, there's a bit of damage there. We do have a little bit of a, a score damage there. Uh, it's a pity, we'll just have to put up with that. I'm thinking this is just going to be a, a really nice size. The Wing Wing Z84 is a nippy little wing. It's kind of small. And the FX61 is 1.5 metres and it's big. There's even the bigger uh, 2 metre version as well, which I don't have anymore. Uh, this is a great wing, but it's just it's a bit too big to make it easy to transport and handle and everything. Um, so I'm thinking the, the C1 Chaser might be just the right size. So it's all just gonna get glued together like that. No fancy bolts or anything to make it uh, able to be broken down, which is fine with me.
The C1 Chaser is ready to rock and roll. Uh, I've got it all balanced up. I've got a couple of Metal Gear analog servos in there. I've got a Sunny Sky 2212 1100KV 8x4 prop. I'm going to run it on 4S. I've got a lithium iron, uh, lithium iron pack there. I actually don't know what capacity it is really, but it'd uh, be good to just try the lithium iron, lithium iron packs. I've got a few different batteries I can try. There's a 2200 Zippy 4S. There's a 3000 4S balances nicely like this and the weight is it's about 720 grams I have a lighter lithium ion but then I'd possibly need to add some extra weight uh, 2200 which is heavier uh, probably won't need any extra weight with that definitely won't need any extra weight although they're longer batteries so it's moving the center of weight of the battery back further forward so it may just be adding extra weight rather than moving the CG forward anyway we'll uh, play with all of those things maximum current draw is about 18 amps so that's pretty conservative I love this sort of sinuous shape I did get a uh, bungee launcher hook or catapult launcher hook with this one so it'll be interesting to try that as well now when I put these fins on initially, I put them on the wrong way around. They actually have a, a, a wider slot here than on the inside there, so I had to pull them off before the glue dried and swap them around. That's one of the good things about using Yoohoo Pour glue. You've got a, you know, a, a good probably half an hour where you can still pull it apart and uh, fix your mistakes if you have to. <laughs> so that's good. The 8x4 prop just fits. I'd actually prefer to have a 7 prop, 7-inch seven prop. I don't have one that suits at the moment, just so it's not so close to the, the fins and it'll be uh, a bit quieter. Uh, you could actually move the motor out a little bit away from the edge too. Things to think about in the future. Anyway, good looking wing. I notice there's a bit of flex in the wing, so super high speed or high uh, acrobatic manoeuvres will make it flex. That may affect the performance, may get a bit of flutter. Uh, but who knows? All of these things we'll find out when we take it for a fly. So that'll do it for this build video. Uh, in the next video I'll take it out for a fly and put it through its paces. Thanks for watching.